hello guys and welcome to this new youtube video in this video i will be giving you guys a very very detailed update on bitcoin and what i'm expecting for bitcoin to happen not only this week but also in the upcoming weeks so i will explain to you guys my theory and why i think this will happen and how you can anticipate on this happening for bitcoin and why this will happen of course there's no financial advice but I think we should dive straight into it. So, as we can see right here, we have the Bitcoin chart. I have applied already some important levels of support and resistance. And the first thing that we can notice is that Bitcoin is still trading inside of this range right here. This range is in between the key level at 46K and a massive support zone around 34.5 towards 34k. This range is a range that Bitcoin has been trading in for far over two months now. So that is already a very long period of time and the market has seemed very boring since then. But that is what the market makers want you to think. They want as many people to step out of this market as they can and as soon as a lot of people have stepped out of this market that's when they reverse the price of bitcoin and that's when everybody's jumping back into bitcoin with a lot of fomo and that is what causes those big pumps towards the upside so more importantly as we can see bitcoin is right now forming this triangle you could see this as maybe an ascending triangle as this trend line right here is maybe invalid because we have this massive resistance zone right here which could be used as the upper line of a triangle so we have some kind of ascending triangle and on the intraday chart we have already seen a break out of this uh, intraday symmetrical triangle in which we have already bounced back into the triangle so that has been some kind of a fake out for bitcoin well why did Bitcoin get a breakdown out of this triangle and then bounce from off the 37.4k level? A beautiful, beautiful bounce from a key level that I will show you guys right now. Because if we zoom out and we remove all of these levels for Bitcoin and we take the fixed range volume profile of this entire range that Bitcoin has been forming for far over a year now, we can see that Bitcoin has seen a perfect bounce from the point of control right here. So right here we have the point of control around 37.5k for Bitcoin and it has seen a perfect bounce from there. If you would have entered a long position right here, you could have made 4.6% which is obviously a beautiful, beautiful trade. So if we look a bit deeper into this fixed range volume profile, and I apply the levels of the entire range right here. These are very, very important levels of support and resistance. Why? Because this fixed range volume profile, as you guys now all know, shows you how many market orders are coming into the market for Bitcoin at a certain price level. So what we can see, we have the point of control right here and around 40k, we have a very important level of resistance as well. Why? Because after this level right here, we are seeing a massive gap right here where there is a lot of volume missing. So what you often see, as soon as you close a four hourly candle above this level right here, the price tend to accelerate pretty quickly towards the upside. It tends to break this entire zone where there's a lot of volume missing and accelerate throughout this zone and then find resistance at the next key area. And the next key area is right here, which is right above our massive resistance zone at 46k. So we have the massive resistance zone at 46k right here. And right above at 46.8k, we have a massive volume level of resistance as well. So those are two very important levels to be watching. But I am still expecting the Bitcoin price as soon as it breaks through this key area right here to have a pretty quick acceleration towards this key area right here around 52k. 
because there are so many people watching this area waiting for Bitcoin to break through and they're saying as soon as we break through this area right here we are back into a bull market that it could be the case that as soon as we break through 46k area right here for Bitcoin then we see a very quick acceleration towards 52k why 52k because that as you can see right here on the left on the screen has been the previous resistance area of the previous range and bitcoin has been forming right over here so beautiful range with the top of the range at the 52k level a target that i have been calling for months now everybody has been bearish but i have been saying we will see 52k again for sure and from of this level this is in my opinion the key area for bitcoin where we will decide if we go back into a bull market or that we go into a longer phase of the bear cycle that we are currently in so that will be a key key area at 52k for bitcoin all right well what is the possible scenario that i'm looking at for this upcoming week for bitcoin if we have the triangle right here and we look at those previous lows right here so here we have a low here we have a low currently we formed again a nice higher low so we have three higher lows in a row the only problem with these higher lows is that the difference in between those higher lows is very very minimum so that doesn't show a lot of strength as in the lower highs are way bigger in difference so right here the difference in price is approximately six and a half percent in which the higher lows is only one percent so that shows that the bears are still having a little bit more of the upper hand right now for bitcoin but if we look at those previous lows we can see that those two lows have seen a pretty decent bounce after taking the liquidity there as in this bounce right here is not as strong as the, those previous two bounces yet so there is a decent possibility that we will still see another dip towards the downside and then reverse back from there so that is also the scenario that i'm looking at get even more people bearish break those previous two lows and then maybe reverse from off that point so what we can see is that below these previous two lows right here there is still a lot of liquidity left for bitcoin what does that mean there's still a lot of orders that are not been that have not been filled yet for bitcoin that we could be seeing filled this week because if we break through these previous lows right here for bitcoin we create bearish market structure again everybody thinks we will go down even more by breaking those previous lows so they will either enter a short position or they will have their stop losses of their long position that they're currently in below these two previous lows right here so let's say that the price dives below those previous two lows they get stopped out out of their long positions maybe even enter a short position and that is exactly what the market makers or the wheels you can call them as well want they will trap those people in their brand new short positions which they entered way too late in my opinion when they are trapped in those short positions we will grab those orders that are still right here we grab the liquidity as you can see that i wrote down right here and instead of going down even more what most retail traders will expect we reverse and start pumping back to the upside in which we could see another test of the key area right here around 46k and that will be a key level this week if we see a retest of that level i am expecting the price to break through that level and have a very nice pump towards the upside that is currently the most likely scenario in my opinion that we could be seeing for bitcoin if we go on to my twitter page we can see that i'm currently also have been making a tweet about that more importantly that i'm currently still holding on to my short position which in, which is currently in about 150 percent profit i think here it says 120 i think it is currently around 150 i'm not sure though but it is a nice profit and i'm still holding on to this bitcoin short as you can see right here because 
I am expecting the Bitcoin price to still take another dip towards the downside, take the liquidity, trap those people in the short positions, and then reverse back to the upside. That is, in my opinion, right now the most likely scenario for Bitcoin. If I look at the price action, if I look at the psychological side of it, that is what the market makers probably will do. That is what will happen this week for Bitcoin. And that is the most likely scenario right now and also the scenario that i am currently anticipating with a short position for bitcoin and i will be entering brand new long positions for bitcoin as soon as i see a proper sign of strength so if you want to keep updated about this make sure to follow me on twitter also you can follow me on instagram tiktok and of course subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this video and this update and also make sure to join our free discord the link is in the description and in that discord i will be giving updates not only on bitcoin but also on altcoins every single day and helping people to become a better trader themselves i also wrote a free beginner's guide in the discord so please make sure to join that discord we are almost at 100 members and i'm loving it so far so please make sure to smash up that like button subscribe to my youtube channel and check out all the links in the description and then i will see you guys on the next one peace